Zechariah chapter 1. <clears throat> Again, another prophet like Haggai after the 70 years. After Israel's gone back again to Ezra and Nehemiah. The eighth month in the second year, Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Ido, the prophet, saying, The Lord has been sore displeased with your father. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, even Haggai. That guy, they hadn't finished the house, but they were doing their own houses. Therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me. Well, evidently they weren't facing and looking to God. Saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. 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 Turn ye unto me, and I, and I will turn unto you. I am sore displeased with your father. When God is angry at you, and according to Second John, he that has not the doctrine of Christ hath not God. You can't say when you are against God that God is for you. Right there in the Bible. You're against God, God's against you. You're fighting each other. I will turn on to you as fellowship. After you turn to me. See, God made his move. He sent the prophet to tell him, Hey, I got a problem with you. Now get right before I get right with you. And God has nothing to get right about. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, Jeremiah, and from your evil doings, Ezekiel. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, Save the Lord. God is coming back with history. The 70 years are over. Let's look at why they happened. Look at what your father's done and don't do like him. Your father's. Where are they? Dead. Where are they? In hell. They didn't turn to what the prophets told them. And the prophets. Do they live forever? No. There's a set time. But my words and my statutes which I command my servants the prophets did they not take hold of your fathers and they returned and said like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doings so hath he dwelt with us we got exactly what we deserve
Too bad you had to learn a hard lesson before you got there. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is the month Sebath, in the second year of Dyrus, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edu, the prophet, saying, I saw by night, behold, a man riding upon a red horse. And he stood among the myrtle trees that were in the bottom. And behind him were their red horses, speckled and white. Explain that. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what are these? The angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. The man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are they whom the Lord has sent to walk to and fro through the earth. Kind of interesting. Here's a bunch of men on horses riding around. And I forget Elijah or Elijah, which one? They're at a point right now in, in one of the services. We're outnumbered. What are we going to do? He says, Open the eyes of this young man, Lord. And he saw horses and horsemen. Satan is said to go up and down on this earth. Job 1 and 2. They answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees. These are all the, the horses, all the men. And said, we have walked to and through the earth. Behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. When does that happen? Not going on now. Sure not going on in Zechariah's time because they're going to start getting problems from uh, the Arabians for building. And they're going to start sending letters back and forth and trying to stop the work. That's what happened during Haggai. You know, they were forced by the Arabians to stop the work. Then the angel of the Lord answered and said, O Lord of hosts. That seems to be the, the main theme of Zechariah, the Lord of hosts. How long will thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the cities of Judah, against which thou hast indignation these three score and ten years? That's the angel of the Lord speaking to God. Maybe that period talking about verse 11 was the 70 years when the Jews were away. God told him, said, listen, you didn't give the years the Sabbath rest. It will get its Sabbath rest. Every seventh year, you're supposed to let the, 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 the time rest, let the people rest, let the earth rest, eat of the old store in the eighth year. Begin anew in the ninth year. And the Lord answered the angel that talked with me with good words and comfortable words. There's your liberal preacher right there. We're not told what those words are, are we? So the angel committed communed with me and said to me cry thou saying thus saith the Lord of hosts I am jealous for Jerusalem and Zion with great jealousy there's no telling what those good and couple words are 
But the angel turns to Zachariah and says, listen, I'm jealous. I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward, forward the affliction. So the Gentiles are not on God's good side. They heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. Ezra, Nehemiah. My house shall be built in it. Saith the Lord of hosts, and the line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Now we go back. And read this was the 11th month the second year of Darius we go back to Haggai verse 2 chapter 1 verse 15 it's the sixth month of Darius still so the 11th month is this is after the house has been built established used in practice there's a lot of church buildings throughout the world and they're not being used they're empty or never been finished ran out of money cry yet saying thus saith the Lord of hosts my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread aboard and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem then lifted I up my eyes and saw behold four horns power horns are a power and I said unto the angel that talked with me what be these he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, excuse me, scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Gentile kingdoms. The four world empires, Daniel 2, 36 to 44, 7, 3, and 7. Daniel 7, 24, and Revelation 17, 12. These powers that are against the Jews. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray, quarrel, riot, combat, battle them, the horns. To cast out the horns of the Gentiles, verse 18 and 19, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. So these carpenters, four carpenters, who are they? Are going to get the four horns in the name of God, the Lord of hosts, and for Israel. Zechariah is a weird book. I'm not even going to say I know any of it. I'm just going to read what I know. 